Hey gearheads and welcome to Garage Talk. I'm Corey and this beautiful vehicle behind me is the perfect muscle car for dads like me. In this video I'm going to tell you why this 707 horsepower Dodge Charger Hellcat is what you need to buy if you're a 30 something year old dad with a need for speed. All right, gearheads, you know if you've been following us for any length of time that we actually got to test one of these on a track at Texas Motor Speedway in Dallas. I'll go ahead and link that video up in the corner for you to check out because uh, let's just say there was a lot of smoke involved and it came from the two rear tires. But this right here, this is what tells you that this is a fun vehicle. This is the 707 horsepower Dodge Charger Hellcat. And that's right, underneath this beautifully sculpted hood is a 707 horsepower beast. This vehicle was graciously loaned to me for the afternoon by House of Cars here in Tyler. And we will put the link to their website for their entire inventory down below. All right, what you wanna know more than anything is what's under this hood here and you get a massive 2.3 liter supercharger hooked up to the 6.2 liter Hemi V8 engine. Now the charger we tested at Texas Motor Speedway was the red eye version which had more power than this but as we will talk about in the driving portion. Uh, I don't even have the red key to this one. So power isn't exactly what we're gonna be talking about today. I wanna to talk about the livability of this. The 6.2 liter Hellcat engine, this thing is insane. The packaging in here is just so tight and this massive supercharger up on top, I call it the Banshee. It makes for a very interesting driving dynamic. You do get functional heat extractors on the hood. So you can actually see up here, those are actually real heat extractors because that 6.2 liter Hemi does get quite warm. And yes, it's all powering those very wide rear tires. All right, speaking of tires, Dodge actually did something genius uh, because let's face it, this giant sedan is not exactly a corner carver. This thing is meant for going fast in a straight line. As you will note from our time on the track at Texas Motor Speedway, it will do corners and it is fun, but this thing is meant for going fast in a straight line. And with that, Dodge has mounted the exact same tire on all four corners. These are 27540 ZR20s. So 20 inch wheels that are so wide on all four corners because when you burn out the ones in the rear and you need a little bit of traction, you just swap them with these fronts and then you can get home from whatever event or thing you were doing. It's actually very clever because a lot of manufacturers stagger the front and the rear and it kind of leaves you wanting, but this allows you the opportunity to uh, maintain traction after a fun day doing whatever may strike you. All right, gearheads, moving around to the profile of this vehicle. It's a large American sedan. And let's say that with a little bit of a caveat because the bones of this sedan date back to when Chrysler and Daimler were married. Yeah, the bones of this are very old Mercedes E-Class, which actually makes it a very solid structure. Fans of Mercedes will say their platforms are over-engineered and it has withstood the test of time and withstood that 707 horsepower V8 under the hood. It is a very competent platform and it's large, it's very big. It's one of the last, if not the last big American sedans on the market. And we're gonna move inside just to talk about how much space you truly have and how luxurious 
this Dodge can be. All right, up front here in the driver's seat, you have a large, bolstered, comfortable, leather-wrapped seat that is both heated and ventilated. Yeah, ventilated seats in a Dodge. It's nice. I like it a lot. They're very comfortable. They're supportive. They hug you and hold you in place. My 510 frame fits very nicely. You also get two-person memory seats here. Automatic up and down front windows, power rear windows, window lockout for the kids in the back seat. Get your light controls up here, your dash lights, trunk release, paddle shifters for your automatic transmission, all your controls up here, red gauges to let you know you're in something special, color helper screen with additional information like reaction time and fuel economy. Two very odd things to be right next to each other in a driver information center. You get a nice Uconnect system over here. It's a little on the small side by modern touches. You get an SRT button that takes you to all the performance pages. a launch control button, which we will get into a little bit later, a very nice mechanical gear selector here, a Dodge Brothers engineered in Detroit uh, key holder, I guess, retractable spot for your cup holders, a nice single tier uh, bin up front, and relatively nice materials. You get this uh, fake carbon fiber look plastic up here. It's it's a nice interior that does not really creak or rattle or make a lot of noise. And this beefy steering wheel, oh my goodness, the bolsters on this thing are uh, quite insane. And yeah, flat bottom, and it is power tilt and telescoping. So again, the luxury touches in this Dodge are very nice. But my whole pitch is this is a perfect muscle car for families. Let's get back in the back and I'm going to show you what it's like putting a car seat in one of these. All right, before we put that car seat in, I wanted to show you what the back seat looked like. I'm 5'10", sitting behind myself. Driver's seat is exactly where I'd have it. Plenty of room and these seats are very comfortable, very cushy. And there's a a little bit of bolstering, but I can tell you for a fact, riding back here around corners, you're gonna be grasping onto whatever you can get your hands on back here. But let's see what that child seat installation looks like. All right, it's a family vehicle, right? To that end, you have rear AC vents back here, but no rear controls. That's all right. You actually get heated outboard seats here and two USB chargers back for whoever's riding back here in the back. Doesn't look like you get a fold down center armrest, but let me remove this really quickly just to show you. You do get a split 60-40 fold down rear seat so that you can put large items even bigger than the massive trunk in this thing uh, through the pass through here. But I told you I was going to attempt to put my child's car seat back here. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I've done no prep. 
and this is literally the first time I've ever done it. So I will note there are latch anchor points that are denoted here on the sides and there are actually spots across all three seats for child seat anchors. So that's very nice and they're a little offset from the notation points on the seat but as long as you know where they are going in you should be good. But like I said three across. Some family SUVs don't even have that. So let's get that car seat in and see just how easy it is in a full-size sedan. All right, plenty of room to get it through the door because these are large American sedan doors. Fairly easy latch point there. I'm gonna toss that over the top and extend it just a bit. I'm not racing here. I've done that before. I, I, I make a fool of myself when I race trying to put these car seats in, but uh, it's fun nonetheless. And then the second anchor point, like I said, is marked here on the seat, but it does get a little interesting trying to get the receiver clicked in there. Okay, where is it? There it is. Yeah, they, they're a little off on where they actually are behind the seat. All right, that is in. And then the rear anchor clips up here. The headrests do not move, which is a point of contention in my daily driver, make it very difficult uh, to latch this in at my daily driver, but so far seems fairly easy getting this car seat in back here in the back of this Dodge Charger. All right, there you go. Safe and secure. I think I may have to go pick up Tucker, see what he thinks of this car. But first, let's check out the trunk. All right, gearheads, back at the back end of this Dodge Charger Hellcat. And we're gonna open up the trunk, which you can do with the key fob, double press. There's even a button back here that will release it as well. A massive a trunk, because like I said, this is a big American vehicle. And I'm actually gonna steal a page from one of my friend's books, Jill Simonello. Go check her channel out, we'll link it. Uh, big enough for me and I could very easily climb in here and pull it shut. It's large. There is plenty of storage space back here in the back of the charger. And when you close it, you get this nice aerodynamic spoiler uh, with a little cutout that helps you see. You really don't see it in your rear view mirror and helps give some additional downforce to those rear tires that really need it. You get Dodge spelled out here, and you've got this LED surround that goes around the entire vehicle, and then these large tailpipes that sound really good. And I'm gonna give you just a little taste of what that's like. So I'm gonna leave this mic right here for that. What you did not hear on that is the whine of the supercharger, the banshee under the hood. And we're actually gonna hop in and discover that together with the help of my son. So I mentioned I've only got the black key. Uh, that matters when you're talking about this vehicle because the red key unlocks all 707 horsepower. This black key is what you would wanna give to uh, spouse or kids or friends because it limits you to 500 horsepower, which is all right, but uh, it's not the full force of that. Again, we drove a 797 horsepower red eye version on the track and we'll link that video down below. So what do you think about this t car so far, Tucker? 
good. It's good? What do you think about the color? Good. Yeah, what color is it? Green. Green? I did match this color of the leaves. <laughs> the color of the leaves? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a pretty green. And you like the inside? Mm-hmm. Yeah, what do you think about the outside of it? Good. Yeah? And I'm going to rev it up for you here in a little bit and show you just how loud it is. Do you think it's a loud car? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's see. You ready? Was it loud? Uh-huh. Yeah. It was loud. It's loud because there's that big 6.2 liter Hemi V8 under the hood, making 707 horsepower. So, it's loud and it's fast. You like fast cars? Yeah. Who's your favorite fast car? Lightning. Lightning? Lightning McQueen? All right, so as I mentioned on the exterior portion of this video, I only have the black key, which limits the power to this vehicle to 500 horsepower. Yeah. But that's still enough to go fast. Tucker, do you want to go fast? Yeah. All right, let's go. And there we go. We're doing, okay. doing the speed okay. limit. What, what were your thoughts there, T-Man? Good. Good? Daddy, let me tell you. All right, what do you want to tell me? Well, my mommy told me be safe with my boy. Be safe with your her boy. Yep, I'm, I'm going to be safe with you. And that's one of the things about this car that make it so perfect for dads like me. Because I like big V8 engines. But I also like taking my buddy around with me. You like riding with daddy? Yeah. Yeah, and so that's what makes this car so awesome because it does have 707 horsepower and it's got plenty of room for you in your car seat back in the back. Are you comfortable back there? Yeah. And you've got air conditioning back there? Yeah. And this is a big car but it's actually very comfortable on the road. I mentioned how it's got Mercedes engineering and DNA built right into it. So it's a comfortable, compliant, shake and rattle free car. And yeah. it's actually very safe. We've got side airbags. We've got a front airbag here in front of me. As long as you aren't being foolish, you know who you are. It's a very safe vehicle to be in. Yes, sir. Are you talking to me? I'm talking to the camera. Why? Because I'm telling the people what they want to hear, I hope. Do you want to say hi to the camera? Hi. Yeah? Can you say like and subscribe? I am shy. Yeah, thank you, T-Man. What makes this a very comfortable and luxurious cruiser, one, is its size and its Mercedes DNA. It's very smooth and comfortable on city streets. I've got no complaints on the ride quality in here. It's built very solidly. And while you do hear that loud exhaust back behind you and the loud banshee under the hood when you dip the throttle, it's a very comfortable daily driver. There's plenty of room for five passengers really in this. And then we get to the creature comforts. So this has dual zone climate, heated and ventilated front seats, a heated steering wheel, uh, Bluetooth built right into it, tons of information here on the Uconnect system, more information up front in front of me. So it makes a practical car from that sense. Maybe some impracticalities of it, you would probably guess with that 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi under the hood. I've got just a hair over a half a tank in this and the vehicle computer is telling me I have 78 miles until it's empty. Perhaps the owners of this vehicle have uh, been enjoying the benefits of all 707 horsepower. Who knows? I do have a reading in front of me that says it's currently getting 9.4 mpg. So that could have something to do with it. If you baby it, and I don't mean like, you know, 
better the throttle, but if you just drive it normally, you can get better with the 99.4 mpg that we're seeing currently in this one. Other things that make it very comfortable and compliant, gauges are easy to read, the seats are incredibly comfortable. Two person memory seats, so me and my five foot wife could very easily both live in this and not have to worry about my knees being in the dash or her not being able to reach the pedals. It makes for a very comfortable vehicle. And then if you need to pass the body, you can. Whoa. Did you Whoa. pass? I did pass on. Why? Because I can. This car is so much fun. What do you think of it? Yeah. Yeah. And then some fun things on this. It does have a readout of all the performance metrics on this. You can set the transmission to street or eco or track. You can set, set the paddle shifters to work or not. Your traction and your suspension, you can change all that to Daddy. street or track. Hey. Yes, sir. We can roll down windows too. We can roll down the windows too. Why? This thing is fun and fast. You like it, Tucker? Yeah. Do you like going fast? Yeah. Well, maybe we'll turn on another street and test out the acceleration one more time. So again, this does have the black key, not the red key, so I can't tell you all the full giggle benefits of the 707 horsepower because this one has uh, been detuned but even 500 horsepower in this thing is fun. And I'm gonna tell you, the throttle on this is the giggle pedal because just hearing that Banshee whine Dad? under the hood is amazing Dad, and Dad. fun. Yes, sir. What is the giggle pedal? The giggle pedal? It's the gas pedal in this that makes you go fast. You want me to push it? Uh -huh. The giggle pedal? Mm -hmm. You ready? Yeah. All right. <laughs> How's that? Good. Yeah, did it make you giggle? No. Nope. No? Hmm. Do I need to push it again? <laughs> and make okay. you giggle? You ready? Set? <laughs> Woo! I didn't giggle. You didn't giggle? What can I say? The four year old's hard to impress. Oh, I love it. It's so much fun. Even with the black key on this one. So some other things uh, that I will mention that make this civil, it's got parking sensors all the way around. It's got a reverse camera so you can see back behind you oh. when you're backing up. And this little button right here oh, that says nuts. launch. Oh, nuts? What's oh, nuts? That's, I was saying what Donald says. <laughs> you're saying what Donald says? Yeah. Well, this button here that says launch, well, it's a lot of fun because it'll give you the perfect acceleration almost every time. What you do, you press it, you firmly press on the brake, and then you push on the gas, let go of the brake, and you go. Being that I am on city streets and I have my son in the back, I'm not gonna do that. Are we going back home? Yep, we're going back home. Yeah. All right, you want to do the giggle pedal one more time? Yeah. All right, let's get the wheel straight and giggle pedal. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Woo. Even at 500 horsepower, the rear wheels Dad, will I break loose. I didn't, I didn't giggle. You didn't giggle? I'm going to get you to giggle, son. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, you didn't talk me into it. <laughs> I didn't talk you into it. You tough crowd. What can I say? <laughs> oh, you giggled. I heard no, it. No, Daddy. Yes, Tucker. No, that 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 tiny word that you said that make made me oh, giggle. <laughs> the funny word you said made you giggle. No, no. Funny word that you said. Oh, the funny word I said made you giggle. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, do you like this car? Yeah. You like it a lot? Yeah. Maybe we could own one one day? Yeah. Well, if you want to own this exact one, you can. We will put a link to the House of Cars dealership uh, website down below so that you can maybe even drive home this exact vehicle. Huge thanks to them for loaning it to us uh, to test out today here in the streets of Tyler, Texas. Well, there you have it. Quick little tour of this Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat and what makes it the perfect muscle car for dads like me. If you want to see more of what we're doing, please hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell so you are notified every time we post. Until next time, bye. Yesterday, mommy talked you into it? Yeah. Ooh, ow. Can you give me some claps? Yeah. Can you do giggle piddle now? Yeah, but why are you taking it back? Well, we just borrowed it for the afternoon. Okay. I know, you liked it. Are you gonna miss this car? Yeah. Yeah, does it make you a little sad that we had to give it back? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, but we've got more fun, fun cars coming. Will that be fun? Yeah. Okay. Well.